Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a really summery makeup look. I'm gonna use minimal foundation because I know that it can slip and slide around in especially the Indian super humid and hot summer. I'm also gonna do four freckles. I've been loving that trend. If these were normal times and we were going outside, I mean, I know we can because there's no lockdown, at least not in my city in Chandigarh. But I don't want to risk it, so I don't go outside. But if I was going outside, this is the look I would wear. If you want to know how to get the look, please keep on watching. So for starters, I'm going to really focus on my base. My skin really needs some extra love with all of this. If you don't have acne breakouts and feel lucky enough to have um, normal skin or skin that doesn't break out, you can use even less products. To moisturize my face, I'm gonna use these two. Uh, this is the St. Ives Renewing Collagen Elastin Moisturizer. Very basic drugstore or affordable moisturizer. Nothing too amazing about it. You can use anything, even the Nivea creams, the Bond creams, whatever suits your face. This is the Nykaa Naturals Rose Essential Oil. I love this oil. The fragrance on this is next level and it also gives um, a really nice glow to your skin um, I actually had a bottle of this before this bottle so this is my second bottle and I stopped using it after I was done with the bottle and I just realized that my skin wasn't looking as glowy as it used to when I used the first bottle of this so I bought it again and I was right it was literally this that was giving me the glow I only did two drops of the oil in this because I have combination skin. If you have drier skin, you can even get away with using three or four drops of the oil. So just a warning guys, I'm gonna use a lot of primers because I feel like that is the key to a good looking base. You can skip uh, whatever primers out of these you wanna skip, obviously. You don't have to use all of these, but I feel like I don't know, I just get a better finish when I use all of these. So I'm going to use the NYX Pore Filler Primer to fill in my pores. I'm only going to use it uh, mainly on my nose and this area. And then whatever I will have left on my fingers, I'm going to press it in this area and this area. Now I'm going to use the Physician's Formula Illuminating Primer. I've only taken about this much of the primer and I'm going to put it on my cheekbones because I want my cheekbones to glow. Wherever you want your face to have a little bit of a glow, that is where you want to put this. So for foundation, I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in Medium Olive. This is a very, very full coverage foundation. The last time that I used it, I didn't even need to use a concealer. I'm gonna start with applying it on the areas that I need the most coverage. For me, it's my cheeks because I'm breaking out there and this area here because I have pigmentation. And then underneath my eyes, I'm gonna apply just a little bit and see if it covers that area up. And if it does, then I'm not gonna use a color correcting concealer. I'm also going to use it on my eyelids because I don't want to use a separate eye primer for this look. Literally feels like I have nothing on my skin. Every time I wear this foundation, this is my first thought that it feels like I have nothing on my skin. So I'm going to take MAC Fix Plus and spray it on my sponge and dampen it just slightly and go over my foundation because it will further add a luminous finish and also help in really meshing the foundation well with the skin. Do you see that? Immediately added an amazing, amazing glow. I think this is an amazing tip if you have dry skin and you want to use a matte foundation. All right, so I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige, I'm sure. Yeah, Pure Beige. 
I'm gonna use this to cover up my marks because they are still visible like this bigger one and some really dark and big ones honestly I'm not worried about getting rid of them completely like I just want to cover them up a bit and that will do I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sand. I literally am just putting one dot of this everywhere. You see how that immediately brings the attention to that one point where you put lighter concealer? I love this trick. So now I'm gonna do my lips and I'm gonna use the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Shaping liner lip liner in uh, 115 Tori toffee this is my new found love i recently hauled this uh, in my recent nike haul i'll leave a link down below if you haven't seen this but look at this color this is literally my holy grail lip liner i feel like because i mean i haven't used it enough but the formula feels amazing so i'm going to line my lips with this and i'm also going to fill in my lips So this is how the liner looks like on its own and on top of it I'm going to use the uh, Lakme 95 Weightless Matte Mousse Lip and Cheek Color. This is in the shade Blush Velvet. I have loved this for literally 6 years maybe even 6 years, 5 years, something like that. This is a swatch of it on its own. I feel like these have cult status in India. Everybody owns at least one shade of this. I really like to dab the lipstick in because it just gives a better finish according to me. I'm also using it as my blush. I'm gonna apply a lot of it. I'm gonna apply it on my nose and on my cheeks and the way I apply blush is almost where you would apply your highlighter but in a more broader area instead of it being just on this area and I also like taking it in this general area and then really lightly on my nose and this area even if it looks like it's a lot i mean it is a lot look at me right now it is a lot but it fades so quickly i feel like blush is the fastest thing that fades from a face I'm now going to set my face using the Bharat and Doris loose powder in number 01 and I'm gonna lightly set my face I don't want a lot of powder on my face today okay so now I'm gonna use a powder bronzer because I mean it's a summer look we need bronzer <laughs> so I have this bronzer in this palette it's from Colourpop it is in the shade CA Dreaming. So this, this is the shade of it. Can you see that little bit of a sheen that I have on my cheek? Remember we've not used any highlighter up until now. We've only used that primer and that is what is giving us this. I didn't even tell you I'm using the Colourpop Excuse My French uh, blush. It's a very peachy blush and it's going to be amazing on top of this pink blush. And I'm going to take this over my nose as well. As you can see, I'm applying a lot, but don't even worry because you know that it gets taken away. The first thing that goes away is the blush, so I'm not really worried about that. Also, we're going to use a setting spray that just meshes everything in. I love this color for summer. I'm going to use the same bronzer shade that we use in my crease because this is the only thing we're going to do to our eyes. I'm actually going to put it on my lids as well. I'm using the Colourpop BFF Creme Gel Liner in the shade, can you guess it? Mr. Bing. 
and I'm putting this color in my lower waterline just to intensify it you can use a kajal if you want to but I wanted this subtle look now I'm gonna use the same eyeliner that we use in our waterline and I'm gonna like stamp it on my skin like that and create a faux freckle this color is literally so realistic of a freckle can you see that and I just touched it on my skin like that you can touch it lightly to have smaller and lighter freckles can you see literally how perfect this color is for freckles Freckles are of all different shapes and sizes, so you want to make different shapes and sizes. I'm going to do some here. Don't worry if they look too big and scary right now, we're going to fix that. Just like two or three here. I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Brow Pencil, Retractable Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Dark Brown. I use this to fill in my brows. and. I'm gonna use this to create some more freckles. Now this one creates a different color of freckles and I think that is important if you wanna have them look realistic. I've definitely drawn them more clustered in this area like this nose area and then very little on this area because that is the kind of look that I like. And now I'm gonna press them in with the same uh, beauty sponge that had foundation on it. And I'm gonna press it in to make them look more realistic. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I'm gonna put it on and be right back. So this is the final look guys. I really hope you guys try out this look and if you do don't forget to tag me on Instagram or wherever you post it on Twitter on Instagram. I will link down all of my social media if you want to follow me. That is it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys